let us see some of the cranial nerves in the vessels in the cranial cavity. We come from front to back. The cranial nerves are arranged in order from front to back like that. This is the first cranial nerve or olfactory nerve. The dilatation is called the olfactory bulb. This is related to the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone. This is the second cranial nerve. This is the optic nerve. Optic nerve passing through the optic canal. And behind that we have the cerebral part of internal carotid artery. This is the cerebral part of internal carotid artery. This is the infundibulum of pituitary gland. This is the third cranial nerve or oculomotor nerve. The fourth cranial nerve is very thin. It has been pulled off from this specimen. The cut end is here. This is the fourth cranial nerve. Then below that we have the fifth cranial nerve here. This is the trigeminal nerve. Then these are the sixth cranial nerves or abducent nerves. Then here we have the seventh and eighth cranial nerves, seventh and eighth cranial nerves passing through internal acoustic meatus. This is the jugular foramen, and these are the ninth, tenth, and eleventh cranial nerves, ninth, tenth, and eleventh. This is the accessory nerve, spinal part of accessory climbing up from the foramen magnum to the jugular foramen. Then this is the vertebral artery. It is coming into the cranial cavity through the foramen magnum. We have one more vertebral artery there. This is the lower part of medulla oblongata. It goes out and continues as spinal cord. Then this bulge is called jugular tubercle. And below that, here we have the hypoglossal nerve entering the hypoglossal foramen or hypoglossal canal. This is the twelfth cranial nerve. Here we have the cavernous sinus in the middle cranial fossa. It is lateral to the cellular cica and the pituitary gland. Here, this is the dura mater forming the roof and lateral wall of the cavernous sinus. I will pin the cavernous sinus. So that is the cavernous sinus. On this side, I have removed the dura mater, which was forming the roof and lateral wall of the sinus. And that uh, enables me to show the structures within the sinus. Within the sinus, we have the third cranial now, oculomotor now. Then the fourth cranial now, or the trochlear now. Then ophthalmic division of the trigeminal now and maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve and then we have the cavernous part of internal carotid artery this is the cavernous part of internal carotid artery and below that we have the sixth cranial nerve or abducent nerve passing through this is the trigeminal ganglion which is outside the sinus. This is the trigeminal nerve. I have cut the roof of Meckel's cave. Trigeminal ganglion is situated in the Meckel's cave here. I have cut the roof to expose the trigeminal ganglion.